Okay, let's let it install that. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and set up the WordPress. So this is the information about the WordPress setup. So it talks about that upload and activate all the plugins from the WordPress plugins directory. You click on that, it will take you to over here. So you need to download all of these plugins. Okay, so one is advanced custom custom fields. Uh, you have headless CMS, which is the plugin I have developed to write custom queries uh, over here and uh, many of the different features that you see. You have graphical, which is basically used to query, test your queries. Uh, like it's a GraphQL playground. The WP GraphQL will be used to write queries in GraphQL uh, from WordPress. So it's going to unleash the power of GraphQL to WordPress. And then you have the WP GraphQL ACF, which is basically used for you know making your ACF fields available in the GraphQL query. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, download all of this and install them. So let me just do that. So I download this. And go for this one. Okay, so I've downloaded all of that. So all I'm going to do is just go to my WordPress dashboard and just add these plugins. If you aren't familiar with adding these plugins, you know, I can show you here. And click on up upload plugin and just keep dropping, start dropping these. So start with the first one. Okay, great. So I've got all of these plugins activated. So now if I go and check into my plugins, you can see we've got all of the plugins activated, right? Brilliant. You also have the graphical uh, playground over here, which if you probably are uh, less familiar with GraphQL, you probably don't need it. Uh, but, you know, it's useful when you are developing and if you want to test something. Okay, great. So either you can download it from this directory directly directly you can download from all of the plugins and activate it or you can also go to their specific git repositories and clone from there so it's up to you whichever way so if you've done this then you don't you can skip all this a b uh, a b a b c d e all of that stuff okay so the next thing you need to do is you need to set up your menus of course we ha don't have any pages yet so let me just create some pages and then we can you know use that so I've added all of the pages over here. Okay, you can add them yourself, whichever page you want. Um, and make sure you have a home page as well, that's important. Okay, since we are using custom home page. And the next thing you're gonna do is you want to also add some of the post. So I have already done that. In case if you don't have posts, you can add them. And then the next thing will be to add your menus, right? So we're going to go to appearance, menus and we need two menus one for the header and second for the footer so for the header and for the footer okay so let's do that so I'm gonna say header menu create menu and I'm going to add few of the pages so let's see what do we have we have about special contact inquiry and inspiration let's add them here okay and I'm just going to drop them right here you can have you can drop them wherever you want so I've got my header menu I'm just going to make sure you check the HCMS header menu which is for headless CMS header menu okay and you hit save same thing for footer menu let's create a new menu which is for the footer menu and I'm just going to add footer menu okay and then let's add some of the pages you can add whichever you want I'll just stick to this special memories about and blog Sp 
and then you can select the HCMS footer menu make, make sure this is selected okay and save menu okay so we are done with the menu next up